just say hit it. Here we go, Jim Collum.
Okay, thanks. That piece is titled Tijuana. And uh, that's the one from the Wolverines. Wolverines was the, uh, the first group that, uh, uh, that brought Hicks to some prominence. And uh, they, the guys were all very young guys, I suppose, from the Midwest. And uh, Wolverines made about, I can't tell you exactly, but about 10 or I haven't had an hour of time down here to <laughs> give you the exact statistics. But anyway, it was about 10, maybe 12 recordings by the Wolverines. And uh, that tune was one of them. A pretty hot tune. The Wolverines, uh, if, they, if you heard them live, uh, they, they had a lot of energy and, and exuberance and, and uh, sort of dazzled the young kids who were their audience, the dancers. Okay, so now we, uh, we'll go on to a couple of tunes by Hoagie Carmichael. And uh, this is kind of an association with Bix and that Hoagie and Bix were such colleagues and friends through, uh, through all out Bix's career. And, uh, and Hoagie continually praised Bix all through his life. And, and a couple of these pieces that, that Hoagie wrote, particularly Skylark and Stardust, very reminiscent of Nixon's solos. But so we always do a couple of tunes and talk about the, the time. Uh, Hoagie sort of worshipped Nixon and took up the cornet, tried to play, uh, and actually tried to play uh, some duets with Nixon and, and travel around with Nixon. And then they, they were together on the, on the Paul Whiteman band. And uh, so there's a real tie between them. And we're going to do one Hoagie Carmichael number. It's, Pretty, it's a pretty tame title, Even Time.
And now we do the most famous of all the Hokey Carmichael pieces. And this is uh, very much an inspired, uh, a tune inspired by Bix. And it sounds almost as though parts of it were taken from a Bix solo. Uh, it, uh, particularly the first line of the piece, uh, was taken, uh, so I'm told, from uh, one of Bix's warm-ups that he did for at one point in his career. All this was on the, the, and during the Whiteman days. And now I'd like to introduce John Smith to you. Just join us. John is just a fabulous singer. He's going to sing this for you. This is Hoagie's famous Stardust. Where did it come from, Jim? Do this little bit. Picks his, uh, you know, the exercises, the warm-ups, and uh, so there you go, Hoagie. Hoagie oh, pinched it. Borrowing. <laughs> and now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb. Always reminding me that we're apart. You wander down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday. Sometimes I wonder why I spend a lonely night dreaming of a song that melody haunts my memory and I am once again
another uh, tune from the Lightning days here for you. And this is titled Blue River.
John escaped. So, uh, so now we, this is a uh, classic Roaring Twenties piece, and Bix made a beautiful recording of this number with the Bix's gas on Bix's game numbers, and this title: "Somebody Stole My Gal."
got one more piece here for you. And uh, this number is uh, from the same era that Dix is playing. And it's uh, rarely played. It's a piece titled Goose Pimples. And uh, that's supposed to be the way it makes you feel when you hear it. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll, we'll give it our best. And uh, let me tell you, this has been a nice uh, evening so far. And thanks for coming to hear us. And uh, here we go, Goose Pimples.
Thanks. See you later.